Hello Canning users, my name is Steven and we're back this week with another technical analysis session. This week we're looking at Alifia, uh, the uh, grower of cannabis up in Canada. They have all three of their production facilities now open. Uh, check out the fundamental to see some other tidbits about this company and why we may think it's a, a stronger company for 2020. Uh, but let's jump over to the pricing chart now and see what we can see. We're looking at a leaf. This is their ticker in the United States on the OTC markets you can see there. And again, we're using our Hakanashi, really easy to see downward movements in red and upward movements in green. Uh, and this week we're looking at Bollinger Bands as well. So we've analyzed these many times. Uh, very helpful uh, mathematical way to visually see what's happening. This center red line is the mean and uh, a couple standard deviations out are the upper and lower boundaries. We know once we cross over those that we can expect the uh, opposite direction. Uh, interesting formation kind of coming up with the Bollinger Bands tightening, so perhaps we can expect some volatility. Uh, but we're also looking at the DMI, the directional movement. This was developed by the same guy who came up with the RSI, so uh, pretty interesting. And let me just bring up the settings. We're only using half of it. There's a positive directional index and a negative directional index. The positive is green, the negative directional index is red. So really easy ways to analyze this when the green, which is the positive directional index, is above the red, that's a buy signal. Now anytime these indicators have really, really easy to understand ways to interpret them, we know that we got to take them with a grain of salt. And this is one as well. It, it does give a lot of false positives. So we like to combine it with other indicators such as the Bollinger Bands. The other couple ways that we can analyze this DMI is not only when the green is above, but when its magnitude is high. Uh, so the higher the value, and you can see on the x-axis here, we're looking at about 20, 10 to 30. So everything above 20, 25, we would say that that's a pretty strong value. Things below 15, that's a pretty strong value in the opposite direction. Uh, so what are we going to learn here is uh, we're going to get rid of the ads, but then we're going to we're going to watch as DMI goes up. You can see that the price gains a little bit. Once we change the direction and we we're now coming down on the other side of the slope, price is coming back down, uh, and then eventually we get a cross. We get a cross of the green with the red right here. That would be a sell signal. And look what happened. We missed most of the trading movement. Uh, so be very careful using the DMI alone as your indicators. You can look for divergences in the DMI, and that's pretty pretty typical. So let's look here. We, we do see the negative DMI is, is the dominant DMI here, and we're going we're gonna, to uh, watch as it gets higher and higher, and price goes lower and lower. And that's exactly what you would expect, right? The, the signals are converging on each other. They're doing the same thing. We're going to watch for the opposite direction when something is going up and up, but the pricing chart isn't mirroring that. So, so what do we have just recently in the last couple of days? Let me zoom in. We have pretty horizontal markets, not a lot of movement here at all with a stock with a price around 25 cents. Uh, and that's reflected here on the DMI. It is getting slightly lower, slightly lower. So if this DMI continues and we start to get hints of a cross with the positive DMI coming back up, combined with this Bollinger Band, there may be something. We, it seems like we're pretty far away, maybe in the next week or so. Uh, but the DMI may be saying that the, the sellers are getting a little tired and maybe the, the positive directional um, index is going to cross over. Uh, and that'll be the breakout of this tight neck that we see in the Bollinger Bands. But I'm just uh, you know predicting right now. So, so definitely make sure and use your indicators. Add the DMI to your arsenal. It's really easy to analyze. Uh, but if it aligns with some of your other indicators, it is a way of getting more and more evidence to get in and get out of trades. Thank you very much.